Question 3. Complete an accurate drawing of ABC in which AB is 8 centimetres, ABC is 103, BAC is 42. The line AB has been drawn from you. If you've got a line AB to start, A to B to C means A to B up to angle C is 103. So if you imagine going from north, 90 would be the a right angle. So 103 is going to be going this way somewhere. BAC means B to A to C. So it's going to be 42. So because 90 would be a right angle, 42 is going to come back. So if I was sketching this shape with accurately in a minute, I would do it and join them up until they meet. So let's have a look then. Angle ABC is 103. So what you have to do is you put your protractor on B, all right, and then because zero is on the outside, you're going to be using the outside numbers. So you're using the outside numbers, making sure B is on the dot and the line is on zero. 103 is just past 100. So you've got 100, 101, 102, 103. You would mark 103 and then you would draw a big line up through there. The next one is 42 from A. So 42 from A, naught is on the inside now, so you're using the inside numbers. Okay, naught is lined up, A is on the point, you've got 40, 41, 42. You would mark 42, join them up, and where they meet would give you a C. Right, the next one. Use the ruler and the pencil to construct an angle of 60 degrees at P. So imagine this is my shape at the bottom now, PQ. All right, so I've got P and Q. What you need to do at 60 degrees, you should be aware, is an equilateral triangle. So what you would need to do, whatever the length of your side is, you'd put your compass point on P, open it up to the point of Q, and you would draw like an arc of a circle. You would then turn your compass point round and go from the end point Q, so again, it starts on P, draw an arc of a circle, and where it meets, you join them up. And because they want angle P to be 60 degrees, because angle P to be 60 degrees, you join them up. And let's check that angle here. SC, is that 60 degrees? Yeah, no 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, spot on. Question four. Okay, the ages of eight members of a chess club were 28, 15, 60, 39, 47, 31, 24, and 32. Find the median. The median is the middle. So when you're working out the median, you've got to put them in order from smallest to biggest. So what I did, I looked at there, and my smallest number is 15. My next number was 24. My next was 28. My next was 31. Then 32 then 39, then 47, then 66. And what you're then going to do to get the middle, I ticked off the first and the last, the second and the last but one, the third and the last but two, and I'm left with 31 and 32 in the middle. To get the median now, we want the middle of the middle. So the middle of 31 and 32, you can either add them up, 31 and 32 makes 63, and then the middle of x is two numbers, you divide by two, so 63 divided by 2 is 31.5. Or by inspection, hopefully you'll be able to see that the middle of 31 and 32 is 31.5. When you're doing the range of numbers, it's the biggest takeaway, smallest. If you remember the song, Hey diddle diddle, the median's in the middle. You add and divide for the mean. The mode is the most. But wait, there's one more. The range is the difference between. So the range would be the biggest number, which is 60. Take away the smallest number, which is 15. So 60 take away 15 is 45. And then the mean, to find the mean, you add them all up and divide by how many they are. So you'd be doing 15 plus 24 plus 28 plus 31 plus 32 plus 39 plus 47 plus 66. 60, sorry. When you add them numbers up, it comes to 276. But there's eight members in our class, you've divided by eight, so the mean there would be 34.5. Right, a new number, a new member, sorry, age 31 joins the club, so they're younger than the, the average of 34.5. 
what will happen to the mean. So because the current mean is 34.5 and the new person is younger, that will bring the average age of the group down, so the mean will, will decrease. Okay, so the mean will decrease in. Cho explain your choice. The new member is younger than the mean of the rest of them, so the new mean will become lower.